Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well and having a fantastic week. Today's video is all about different ways to encourage your bird to exercise. Now, unfortunately, under human care, quite often birds don't get quite enough exercise that they need and they often end up being overweight and they can have problems with their muscles and they can just generally be not as fit as they could be. So here are some ways that you can encourage your birds to exercise at home in lots of different ways to keep it really interesting. Now the most obvious way to get your bird to exercise is to fly them. Now you can do this indoors, you don't have to be a free flyer, although free flying is an incredible opportunity for your bird to really express their natural behaviour and fly, but you do have to contact a professional trainer, you can't just take your bird outside regardless of if they're clipped or not. But flying indoors is fully possible. I do have a video on how to train recall and stationing and generally build up those flight muscles. As you can see my boys are just flying around like crazy because they just love to fly. And one of the really important skills when you are flight training your bird is to train the descent flight. Now this is important not only because it really builds up those muscles and gets them using different muscles but also if your bird does happen to get out which you know does unfortunately happen to some people if they end up in a tree and they haven't been trained to fly downwards then it's going to be really difficult to get them out of that tree. However, if they've already learnt the skills to fly downwards, you're more likely to have success in getting them back down from that tree. Um, but also, as I said, it's just a really great skill for them to learn and it really expels a lot of that energy. way to encourage your birds to exercise is to play games with them and I'm not talking Assassin's Creed or Call of Duty I'm talking about games that you can really involve your birds in to get them moving around uh, the two of the games that we really like to play with our birds are hide and seek and kind of hide and seek peekaboo hybrid so what we like to do with Scampi is play hide and seek so we'll set him down onto a perch and we will run into another room and go Scampi Scampi and he'll come find us and it's really funny because sometimes he goes into the wrong room and he's just flying like crazy around the house I'll insert a clip after this of him um, playing but he just absolutely loves it and he almost instigates playing the game which is really funny. Now the other game we play is this kind of hide and seek um, hybrid with peekaboo that we play with the Conyers where we set them down onto one of our dining room chairs on the seat and we hide behind the backrest and then we come out either side and we say their names like Pickles Pea or uh, Olive Oil because that's her nickname um, and it's just really funny because they have to guess which way we're coming out and they're just running around and just peeking and peering over the side it just gets them moving it's just a really fun way of um, getting their brain working as well so as I said I'll insert some clips uh, that I tried to film it's kind of difficult but um, it's really good fun and they just love it Pickles Pea Pickles pee. Pickles pee. Pickles pee. Now, encouraging exercise doesn't just have to be outside of the enclosure. You can do it inside of the cage as well. And one of the ways that we do that is by getting huge toys. Now these toys are absolutely massive. If you have been watching my channel for a while, you'll probably know that I have cockatiels and conyers. These toys are considerably larger than my cockatiels and conyers. However, when I put them in the cage, they love to climb up them, uh, swing around on them, uh, generally cause mischief, and they absolutely love it. So having bigger toys, if your bird isn't too phobic, can be a really great way of getting them to use different muscles, their leg muscles, climbing up and down these toys. And the other thing as well is to think about is uh, where you actually position the toys in, in the cage. Sometimes for some birds who are a bit more nervous with toys, they need to be quite close to a perch, they can access them easily. But for other birds, if you have them just out of reach, they really have to reach over, grab the toy, hoist it over, and um, that is another way of getting them moving and stretching. One of the other ways that we really encourage exercise, which we do pretty much every single day, is offering our birds floor toys. Now with floor toys, we just get all different kinds from Northern Parrots, other websites. I've also got an Amazon store, which I'll link down below, that's got some other toys if you wanted to go and have a look at some of the ones that we have. Um, and we just place them all over the floor, put some treats around, and just let them go wild. And they just love climbing over everything, uh, climbing up onto nail trimming perches. I'll show you that in a second. Uh, they love learning different things, like playing the ring toss. There's so many different opportunities, and it may be something you haven't considered exploring before, because not everyone puts their birds on the floor but all of our birds absolutely love roaming around and having these toys on the floor is a really great way of getting them to explore, being mentally stimulated and of course getting that all important exercise as well.
arguably one of my favourite ways to encourage my birds to move around is getting them to dance. Not every bird is going to be interested in dancing, but for our conyers they definitely are, especially olive and pickles. Uh, sometimes again they almost instigate and be like, hey can you sing for me? And they've got this little uh, body language cue that they give to us which we've picked up and they just love to boogie and it's really funny. Olive has got some favourite songs that we put on, we put on Top Dance for her on the Alexa and she just, she dances around, she sings to them and squeals and it's really really funny. So if you can encourage your birds to uh, start dancing around, you may have to start dancing yourself and you will look a bit silly but they will really enjoy it if they get into it and um, it's just one of the really funny things that parrots do which I absolutely adore. your birds to exercise within their cage is to provide a swing. Now swings are really brilliant because the momentum of the swing moving and the bird perching on there is actually going to provide exercise for their wing muscles, chest muscles and leg muscles as well. So it may not be one you've considered, your bird may even have a swing already, but encouraging them to use it a lot can be really beneficial for all different kinds of muscles in their body. Now I briefly mentioned this in the floor toys points, but just to reiterate that birds can often really love running around on the floor. We've got some hilarious videos of the boys uh, over the years of them just running around, running in slow motion, and they just really love skittering and just getting up to mischief. Supervised mischief that is though. One of the other things we do as well to encourage running is to provide jingly balls. Now they aren't going to be for every bird, for example chip and fish are terrified of it, but for our conyers they love to chase the ball around, throw it around. It does make Scampi a little bit overstimulated, but we do it in sort of controlled ways so he can express some of that energy, run around like crazy and um, just really enjoy chasing a ball. So if your birds enjoy that, that's a brilliant way of getting out some of that excess energy because of course birds are full of energy as we know and sometimes if they don't express all that energy it can get pent up and then they can express undesirable behaviours such as excess screaming or uh, potentially even feather plucking, loads of different things that we see as undesirable behaviours can be caused because they're not getting the chance to express their natural behaviours and get rid of all that excess energy. So if you can implement as many of these ways as possible your birds are going to thank you for it. Another way to incorporate time on the floor with exercise is to provide an obstacle course, which I'm going to show you now. This is something I've just popped together with some toys that we have from Northern Parrots. Uh, we've got some nail trimming stands, we've got a cardboard tunnel, we've got these shapes that they can run through. It doesn't have to be complex, it can be very simple, but it's just another way of getting your bird to use different muscles. But this does need to be trained, your bird is not going to know how to do an obstacle course straight away. So you can chain behaviours and get them used to different toys and objects to make this a really fun experience. Now if your bird is really scared of all different kinds of toys and objects and you're struggling to get them moving around, one of the ways that you can encourage moving around is through target training. It's one of the essential skills that every bird should know. Again, I do have a video, if you haven't tried it before, I highly recommend giving it a go. Once you get the hang of it, it's really easy and you can actually train lots of different behaviours using targeting. But also you can get your bird to move around, even if it's on a flat surface, on the floor, you can get them to target to different places. You could even convert it into getting them to target to fly to different areas. It's something we do with Scampi, he really enjoys it. Um, but it's just another tool in your toolbox for encouraging your bird to move around as well as being mentally and physically stimulated. And the final way to encourage exercise in your bird is to implement target training and other training methods to try trick training. Now that could be things like the tidy up trick that Chip does. David's got a video on how to train the tidy up trick. It's great fun because he has to pick up objects and throw them into a box. Lots of birds like doing all kinds of mischief like that. So I'll leave a link down in the description. But you can also train your bird to spin, show their wings, really stretch them out. Uh, and all this moving around is gonna be stretching different muscles and just getting them moving again, which is the whole point of this video is to get your bird moving. Spin. Good girl. Wave. Good girl. Wings. Good girl. Shake. Good girl. Pickles come. Clever girl. Station.
Good girl. So that brings me to the end of the video. I hope you've enjoyed learning some ways on how you can get your bed moving, get them exercising and get them fit and healthy. If you have any extra tips you'd like to add for us, please leave them down in the comments below as I'd love to speak to you. But from me and Pickles P and the boys who are misbehaving over with David, thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having a fantastic week. Take care and see you later.